which means we are giving mass value because if they keep coming back, lives are being changed. Yes, yes. yes. And we love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, guys, let me just double check. I always like to make sure, okay, we're recording because that's happened to me before. I've thought that we were, we were recording and we actually weren't. And that is not cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's so not cool. Guys, welcome out to the webinar, our weekly webinars that we have every Tuesday, right, Terry L. Clay? That's right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't know why, but it just seems like it's like one or two o'clock in the morning, I guess, because I've been getting up earlier in the mornings and trying to uh, do my meditation and uh, working out a little bit earlier. And so when it comes about 7 p.m. in the evening, it's like, oh, my Lord. It's crazy because, yeah. I, you know, and I used to stay up to like two, three, four in the morning and now I can barely make it to nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, well, I'm with you too because this morning I had to get up and do uh, one of my calls because I'm starting, my call is starting to be a recording and the lady needed me to get up early to do it. I was like, oh man, so now <laughs> I'm feeling it. So I'm feeling you. <laughs> Yeah, y'all make sure y'all check Terry out with Mornings with Terry Call, Terry, Terry, and she'll tell you more about that in a few minutes. We want to welcome you out to the Business Explosion Mastermind weekly webinar that we have. And we love doing these weekly webinars because we love to add massive value to the marketplace. And on this Tuesday right. night, yeah, 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 yeah. And on this Tuesday night, we are discussing uh, options for writing your book and publishing your book. And we are your hosts. I am Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham Baby. And I've got Miss Terry Clay on the line. And, yes, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that were on the line earlier, you, you, uh, you heard us talking about our mastermind that's coming up. Listen, if you don't know what we're talking about, stay tuned towards the end of the webinar. We've got some things we want to tell you about. Okay. So that's the, 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 the private luxury retreat mastermind coming up. So stay tuned. We want to tell you how you can be a part of that. And the rules for the next 45 minutes is just to focus, get rid of distractions. All right. Um, if you're on Facebook, only tune in to Terry's Facebook wall or Sue Ham's Facebook wall so that you're not distracted. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, otherwise, turn off the phones, turn off everything, get out pencil and paper. Let's have fun and let's learn. We're going to record this, but you know how technology is, right? So that's why we say get out paper and pencil and write down some stuff and let's have some fun and let's kick it. And I guess we're going to start right. out. Um, my co-host is going to tell you guys who she is and what she does. Uh, Terry L. Clay, take it away. And Terry, don't forget to tell them where you come from. They need to know where you come from right. and how you got to where you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ma'am. My name is Terry L. Clay. I am, uh, yeah, I have, I'm actually a mother of four children. My children are actually adults. I'm an author, a blogger, just like the, um, the slide says, internet marketer, entrepreneur, course creator, coach, motivational speaker. And, yeah, I, I, I do all those things. And uh, But, you know, um, <laughs> it didn't start that way. It didn't start to where I was living life on my own terms. Today I'm living life on my own terms. Exactly. I am doing exactly what I want. But it was not that way. No, I was uh, at 14 years, at 15 years old, I, I met a guy and uh, was, I was not supposed to be dating this guy, and my parents told me not to date this guy. I did anyway. Um, ended up getting pregnant, having four children by, by this guy. Um, by the time I was 21, he was abusive. He was a cheater. I mean, he did all. And then eventually he dumped me to take care of the four children by myself. So I ended up taking care of the four kids by myself. And I thought, you know, why not become a, a a physical therapist, a nurse, or something, just to get myself out of the project because we were living in the project. And so I did go to school, became a nurse. It was a ten-year journey. I lost everything uh, I own. We lived, we lived in the dark with no electricity while I was in nursing school. And I thought once I graduated, this was going to be the answer to the question. Oh, I'm going to be able to travel and do all the stuff I wanted. But when I graduated, three months after graduation, I realized I hated my job. It was not anything what I want. And um, finally, I realized that my spirit, who I am, what I am, was a, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a person who does not want to click the clock and <laughs> go and work 40 years mm -hmm. and, you know, retire. I want to live life on my own terms. And I had to go after that. But when I went after it, 
I started losing stuff. I lost, I lived in a band building, lost everything I own three times. All my stuff, I had to work out of Starbucks. But the key to it all is never giving up. I, I was on a call today. I did an interview for from some a radio show, and I told them success 100% guarantee in order to get success is you cannot quit. And no matter what, I did not quit and could not quit. And today I am actually, uh, I, my website is successwithterry.com, and I am a blogger. I blog uh, daily about how to help entrepreneurs to grow their business um, and really put all of these things on this list in one bunch because I, that's what my goal is. That's what my passion is to help people to win. So that's who I am, and that's where I come from. Oh, man. Awesome, girl. Like I told you, every time I hear your story, I get mega motivated all over again times 10. And I know the callers, everybody that's watching is excited as well. Doesn't Terry look good on it? Look at look at it. Look at all professional. No one that can ever tell. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would be able to tell that you was in an abandoned building. What's up with that? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. You don't look, and look right. When I went there, I still came out looking good. Hey, there you go. Be I wasn't looking raggedy. I was looking good. And I came out of there. <laughs> You know what? And I'm glad you brought that up. And that's that's a misconception that people have. They think that everyone who is homeless, right, uh -huh. that they have to look beat down, raggedy and dirty. Um, I When we were in San Diego, um, just in, when was I in San Diego? August, uh, July 28th through August. And we were feeding the homeless. There was a family, a man and a wife and a young child on the streets and they were homeless and they were clean, but they were just homeless. Uh -huh. And so, you know, it changed my viewpoint of homeless people. You don't have to be dirty and, 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 and uh -uh. just bummed out. I mean, you still can be without a home and look good. Just trying to get yourself together, get to that next level. And so exactly. Terry, I applaud you. I'm clapping. Do you hear that? I still have my business. So I kept made myself I, want, I mean, I had to look good because I still was running my business. So, you know, in that aspect, I still had to still look shiny and, yeah. uh, and have it all together. So that's, well, you, that's the way it works. Believe it or not, you probably just made somebody's day right there. Just cleared up a whole lot of stuff because uh, you don't look like what you've been through. And even when you're going through oh, right. what you're going through, you still got to look good, people. You still got to look the best that you can look. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right, that was Terry O'Clay. Now here's the other blonde chick, Sue Ham, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I thank God I didn't have to live in abandoned buildings um, or suffer domestic violence like Terry. But much like Terry, we all have our own stories. We all have our own hell. And we don't try to compare our hell to one another because, you know, even though I didn't go through the things that Terry went to through, my hell was still my hell. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And so, mm -hmm. um, my story is, you know, pretty one, it's kind of similar, but it's different. It's similar in the fact of knowing that um, I knew there was more for me out of life. Now, first, let me put out the disclaimer, okay? I am not discrediting jobs or careers because there are a lot of people that excel in their jobs and their careers because that's what they love to do. But what I'm speaking to right now is for those persons who are on a dead end job that you despise with your every being, every cell makeup of your body. That was me. And the reason why is because I've always known that I was supposed to be on stages speaking to people all across the world, inspiring them to live, love, learn, and laugh. And so right. I just got to a point where I was tired of going to work, tired of doing things that I didn't like, tired of, like you said, Terry, punching the clock, asking somebody, can I go to my son's or my daughter's uh, school program? Um uh -huh. Uh -huh. Coming up with a lie that I'm sick uh -huh. <laughs> because I don't feel <laughs> like going to work or coming up with a lie that I got a doctor's appointment because I just want to go and hang out and have some fun. I didn't have enough time off. Saturday and Sunday wasn't long enough. So, uh -huh. and then it got to that point where I was going to my job where it started to manifest sickness in my body. And I was really, um, ailing literally um and figuratively so but the thing about it is like i said i've always known my purpose as a young girl i wanted to be on stages wanted to do movies and plays um but i was afraid i at that time allowed fear to be the master of my life and because fear was the master controller of my life i was living a life of a uh, mundane routine and doing things that i really disliked um i was able to obtain a fortune by um, acquiring rental properties, rehabbing them, selling them, um, 
refinancing them and getting the equity out of them. Got a bunch of money doing that. In 2009, everything went sour. I had to file bankruptcy. So I lost everything, all my rental properties, all my income. Had like negative 500 in the bank, over a million dollars in debt on my credit report. Uh, watched my vehicles be torn away from my, my, my um, not garage, my, 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 um, out of my yard, you know, the banks came back and uh, got their vehicles. And then in 2011, the very home that we lived in, we had to surrender because we were no longer able to afford to make payments. And then I guess my one of my lowest points was my son, who at the time was in the seventh grade, and he is now a senior, hoorah. Uh, he said, mom, I'm going to go live with dad because you can't really afford to maintain the bills and feed us and whatnot. And, you know, to hear that coming from a seventh grader was really um, horrifying. It really killed me. And it was at that point I was like, you know what, God, I want to do what you created me to do. I want to prove to my son mm -hmm. that I am more than this, this, this circumstance. I am more than this situation that is occurring to me right now. I want to prove to my son that you can follow your dreams and live on purpose. I want to prove to my son that dreams are obtainable. And so I got up and actually wrote my first book in 2012, February, 2012. Terry didn't see that coming. I really didn't. Um, mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. no aspirations to be a published author, but I knew I wanted to share my story to help inspire people. God had put that on my heart. I actually created the, um, the Suham TV show and, um, and, uh, I became a motivational speaker. Didn't know I wanted to do that. But after writing my book, people started to invite me to come and speak and share my story. And so from there, I found that I liked speaking and really it tied in with my purpose, my vision that I saw for my life, which was being on stages all across the world. I ended up writing three stage plays. I'm a proud mommy. And most recently in August of 2014, I created the Suham School of Success Online, where we teach a variety of different topics. We have over a hundred modules ranging from mindset training to uh, making money online to creating your own t-shirt course and so many other different things. And we continuously add new modules on a weekly basis. So that's where I was. This is where I am and where I'm going is I want to create offline schools. I want to continue to speak yeah. across the world and I want to continue to provide value to this marketplace to inspire people to live, love, learn, and laugh. So that's, that's, who, right. that's, that's, that's who we are. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> yes. That's who we are. And you are here because you probably want to find out information about writing your book, right? So uh, we're going to try to give it to you. <laughs> right, Terry? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so guys, getting, let's get, get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Um, we're not going to keep you long. We always say that unless you guys got a bunch of questions, but we're not going to present too long tonight. We don't want to bore you, but we do want to give you the gist of what it takes to be able to write and publish your books to different means and methods. Now, um, for me, I got to tell you guys, I love romance books, right? I grew up, my aunt would always get me the Harlequin uh, romance books. And then when I met Zane, oh my God, I don't even know if I should be oh, saying Lord. that. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> Well, she has a movie coming out. Woo! -hoo! And I can't wait. Well, I can't. <laughs> Have you seen the? Pre if y'all know, if y'all know about Zane, you probably know why we're laughing there. <laughs> oh Lord, I digress. I digress. But listen, I thought Harlequin <laughs> romance was just off the chain back Ooh, in the day when I was ten, Zane, twelve years Lord old. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought that was something. Ten, twelve years old, and then I meet Zane uh -huh. in my thirties, and I'm like, woo. So back to my point, I digress. Check out the movie Addicted, shameless plug, but um, <laughs> I'm not getting anything from it. But anyways, um, I, uh, 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 <laughs> I used to always read romance uh, books. I love them, right? And so I used to always write romance stories, but here's the thing, I never saw myself becoming an author. And it wasn't until I went through my tumultuous uh, affairs, you know, with the bankruptcy, having the suicidal thoughts, divorce and all that stuff that I was like, you know what? I want to share my story with the world. And I became more so passionate about sharing my story than putting out a romance novel, because at that time in my life, that's what I was being directed to do. So would you agree, Terry, that if you're going to write something, you should write what you're passionate about? Yes, definitely. My book, uh, my story is a little bit different. I, I guess I started reading uh, books that were motivational, self-help, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, those type of books. 
And so in my mindset, I always knew, I felt like I'm going to write a book about, now I didn't know it was going to be my journey, but it was, I ended up using that book for my journey and telling my story of my journey. So I guess because I was like reading those, those self-help type of books, I knew that other people needed my story to change. And so uh, that became my passion. And the reason why I wrote my book was so that I could help change the lives of others. Awesome. Awesome. So guys, the first thing that we want to do is tell you different ways of how to get started with writing your book. Just give you some tips that we have found to, uh, to be pretty helpful. And the first one is to write what you're passionate about. Okay. Mm-hmm. I cannot come out and write a book about, um, science fiction because I'm not passionate about yeah. it, nor do I know anything about it. So, um, th- that's just common sense, right? That should be number one. But I have found when dealing with people, they're like, well, what should I write about? And I'm like, listen, if you're a writer, you shouldn't even be asking me that. What are you being led to write? What moves you write what you're passionate about? Because when you do that, it's going to flow. So that's the first tip that we would suggest is write what you're passionate about. Um, Terry, I'll let you go mm-hmm. into the second one because we were just discussing this with an applicant for the Business Explosion Mastermind. And you, can share, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can share some of the stuff we talked yeah, about. Yeah, write the way you speak. Um, and she, what, what she was saying was that she, she didn't think that she could write well because she wrote the way she speak, spoke. And we told her that, hey, if that's really what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to be authentic. People want to be you, you be yourself. You don't have to be this prim and proper person and, you know, thou art, you know, that's what <laughs> you just be yourself. You know, talk uh, in my book, I might say I, I ain't, or I can't, or I didn't, because that's just how I talk. I'm going to be myself. And people are going, whatever person is going to relate to you is going to relate to you. You're gonna, you, you can't please all the people all the time. So just if you're going to write, be yourself and write and just write from their heart. Yes. Um, whether you know it or not, authenticity is the word for eternity, baby. It is never going to go out mm-hmm. of style. So be you. And, no. you know, because again, the $20 words, in my opinion, and if you look at most experts, they'll tell you the same are out of style. People want to hear you in your voice, not in a King James version of he goeth thou, where art thou, you know what I'm saying? Or, or the Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> You know, yeah. the, the Shakespeare uh, era. Nobody wants that, okay? Well, at least. No. I, well, I don't figure think it out. Well, there's somebody that wants it. But if that's not you, yeah, yeah. if that's not your style, then don't try to portray that style. Because here's the great thing. There's an audience for everyone. So that means you have the right to be you because you are going to attract who you need to attract. So don't try to be someone uh-huh. else. So. Awesome. Our third tip is write as if you're writing a letter to a friend, because if you're writing and I wanted to throw this in, I know some of you are probably like, that's crazy, but think about it. If you're writing a letter to a friend, there's really no pressure. You're just going to write from your heart and with love. Mm -hmm. So if you're writing your book from your heart and with love, it should flow easily and it should be authentic and it should come off really, really good because you're writing it from a place of love, not from a place of rushing to get it done or from a place of uh, disconnection, but it's like um, writing a letter to a friend. Yeah. That's all we're going to say, use that word disconnection because the, the point is you're you're going to disconnect. The readers are going to be disconnected from you if you're not writing authentic, authentically and writing just like you, just naturally. Uh, and, of course, we're going to go into the other one, writing consistently as well. Got to keep, you know, you could be writing your book. A little, and I wrote my book in 30 days. So I can't, I, I can't say that I had to keep writing it, but another a piece of advice is if you may you may have a journal. I talked to one of my coaching students today, and she says she writes in her journal, and she pulls over even if in the car and she thinks of something. That's a good idea to get your notes together, your thoughts together, is being a consistent writer. And, and really, add something to that? Yeah, you really just carry it over into the, to the next step, which is carry a recorder and or paper. Um, write consistently. People say, well, I... I have writer's block. Listen, force yourself to write. When I coach people, I tell them to get up the same time every morning, get up an hour earlier, position your body and train your mind, get your spirit intact to write. And it's going to come because you continue to do that. Something's going to come to flow. Write consistently. Even if it doesn't flow together, you might be writing chapter number one and all of a sudden you got chapter number nine. Okay. Skip over to Uh chapter number nine and come back and fill in the blanks later. And Carry your recorder in the paper. And one of the things I like about this is I remember Tyler Perry 
stated in so many of his interviews is that when he was writing his plays before, you know, he became known, he said the words would come to him and he'd be at a restaurant. So he would write it on the, on a napkin, write it on a piece of paper. And then before long, he had a bunch of napkins and a bunch of pieces of papers um, that he put together and boom, there was his stage play. So uh -huh. carry a recorder, carry paper, carry your journal, do whatever it is so that when, and, and, and even today with mobile devices, you can, they have recorders on there, just record there your thoughts. You know, if you can't write it down because you're driving, then record your thoughts. Cause I do that a lot. Um, something will come uh -huh. to me and I'm not in a position to write it down. I'll record it on my phone or I'll record it into my recording device. So good point good point um all right going into our next tip ask for guidance ask to flow <laughs> um i want to share a little brief story with them terry if you don't mind um about sure. that okay asking for guidance and asking to flow um and i think it was i want to say 2011 i was asked to do a stage play by a school here in the area and the, here's a kick I only had 30 days to write the play, get the actors together, get the music together, get the set together, pretty much to put everything on from the giddy up. 30 days. And anybody that knows about a stage play, uh, that's hard work, okay? And especially when you're committed to excellence like I am. But the problem was, I knew I had 30 days. I didn't have anything written, had to do a new play. And I was like, I don't even know what I'm going to write about, man. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to ask for guidance. So I asked God to send me the words. Guys, you got to be careful what you ask for, okay? For two days straight, man, I'm telling you, my fingers were just a typing and a typing. It was just flowing like crazy. I did, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real transparent here. Don't judge me. I didn't even bathe, okay? Because the words were flowing. <laughs> and I'm being real. Uh -huh. The words were flowing so good. I had to force myself to take like an hour, two hour nap, get back up, and it was continuously flowing. So in two days, I had written a full on stage play. That's crazy. So, this is what we mean when we say ask for guidance, ask for it to flow, consult the spiritual realm, talk to God and ask him to send it to you so that you can transcribe it onto paper. You want to add anything to that, Terry? No, that's, that was good. That was a good story. I like it. <laughs> yeah. True story. So I, I can do the next one though. <laughs> I can Get do it. the next one. Right? Don't worry about errors. Um, you know, that, when I did my book, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even look over it. I didn't, I didn't go back and read. Like, I, I did, like, Sue did, I guess, go back to the flow part. I, did, I just let it flow, and I wrote the entire book. I, I kind of had it in my mind, and I, I typed it out. And you know what I did when I when it was finished? I just handed it to the editor. I didn't really even <laughs> – I didn't worry about any errors or mistakes or grammar, nothing. I didn't go through all that. I let her do it. And voila, my book was done, like I said, in 30 days and then the editing. It's just that simple. You don't have to worry about perfection. I think sometimes when people – they worry about trying to be too perfect. Oh, it's, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, that that kills um, what really can come out, the, the blessing of the book or the blessing of whatever you're doing because you're so afraid of, of the the errors or the mistakes. Just, just do it. Don't worry about perfection. Just make it happen. And then, shoot, that's, that's what an editor's for. Let them do it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, unless you're, unless you are the editor, which in my case was me. Right. And, if, and if that's the case, still just write continuously and consistently. Then when you're finished, then go back and review it for errors and grammatical, grammatical mistakes. Okay. So that's right. the last one, right from the heart. What, what you got to say about that, Terry? Open up and I let it we out. I think we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, that's the same thing. Just, like we said, let it flow. It, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about anything. Just be yourself. Um, be who you are, you know. Don't worry about, like, the errors or the nothing. Just just do it. And then, you know, you can always go back and look over it. Like, Sue, Sue said she was an editor, so she had, you can you can worry about the, what what's not right then. But, but what I do want to say is don't just keep, when it's time, if you are the editor, don't keep worrying about every little thing. Just flip it, go through it, and don't worry about it. Have you have you read a book before and it has a grammatical, you know, it's had an error in it? It didn't kill the book. You didn't dislike it. You know what I'm saying? It didn't kill it. Not that you don't want it. You know, not that you want don't want errors in there. You don't want them in there, but you don't have to be so worried about every little thing. Right. I agree. Great yeah. point. And also, when writing from the heart, um, because a lot of people will question me. Um, I've had people ask me. Well, how do I know when I'm putting too much in? My thing is I open up my heart chakras, right? Because a lot of people told me that with my book, um, 
they thank me for being so transparent and so open and sharing everything. Now, my kids, on the other hand, was like, mom, you told everything. So, you know, so did my siblings. (laughs) And I was... (laughs) I was like, I was writing from the heart. And because when I was writing from my heart, that's what flowed. I, I I took it as that's what needed to be in the book. I didn't feel like I needed to hide anything. So guys, you know, open up your heart and just let it flow. And whatever comes on that paper or whatever you type on that computer from your heart, then that's what you should put out into the marketplace. So, and you know, one more thing, the Bible says they overcome by the word of your testimony. So you know, the fact that you were able to come from the heart and tell, overtell, you know, so to speak, um, that's why people are over, have overcome because of the work of your testimony. Yeah. And, you know, and they feel connected and like they know me because really, even though our stories are different, our stories, we're, we're connected because we all are one. Uh-huh. And, and and so I have found that my story is what has opened up the doors for me. I never thought in a million years that me writing a book was what was going to open up the door for me to have the success that I have right now. It all started from writing a book. So and sharing my story. All right. All right. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's crazy. That's so, <laughs> so now, um, you know what? Let me check in with our people. Make sure they're okay on here. All right. Let me <laughs> let, let me go to Facebook here because uh, I feel like me and Terry having a heart to heart over here. <laughs> Where's Facebook? Are we on the phone? I think you sh- are you showing your screen? Oh, this is it. Can you see? I'm going to Facebook now. Can you see Facebook? Yeah, we see it. Yep. Okay, I want to ch- I want to chime in with the family and see uh, is this some good stuff? So guys, go to my wall here. I guess I'll come over there. All right, so I want to make sure you guys are still alive. If you guys are still alive, then we'll go back and kick it. <laughs> Okay, Ms. Wright is commenting and she is saying, Yes, awesome. (laughs) Ms. Wright is one of our regulars. We thank you for being here. Yes, definitely. Okay, we got some ready to learn. Awesome, awesome. Shantae Pittman, yes, awesome. And you know, we forgot to ask everybody what they have for dinner. (laughs) (laughs) I had (laughs) spinach. Oh, wow. I have fried chicken and uh, green beans and rice. Spinach, are you on a diet? Oh, Mm. God. No, I just, that's just all I had. (laughs) Oh, God. Oh. Okay, we so everybody is uh everybody's kicking in and commenting. So we're gonna keep it moving. Okay, awesome guys. Thank you. We just have to make sure you guys are still alive with us. All right. All right. All right. So now guys, we're gonna get into publishing your books, the different ways that you can publish your books. And now in this webinar, we're gonna discuss three different ways. Um, and the first way is traditional publishing. Um I guess I'll get started with that. And Terry, you can chime in. Yeah, I'll do the next one. Okay. So it's uh, traditional publishing. And with traditional publishing, you know, let's just say this, okay? Many people thought that they could not write a book because they didn't have twenty-five to thirty, fifty thousand dollars to write a book. But see, long mm-hmm. gone are those days where you have to have a traditional publisher to write your book. Terry didn't write her book with a traditional publisher, nor did I. Nope. Uh-oh. And because uh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I was in the middle of bankruptcy, so I, in a way, I had twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> Let me tell you, I wrote my book while I was well, uh, not I wasn't homeless yet, but right before I was homeless, uh, again, again, I wrote my book. Right when I lost my stuff again, <laughs> so I definitely did not have any money. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. So you lost your stuff twice? Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't say I just learned something new about you. Wow. That's uh-huh. crazy. Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. You know, the average person would have probably quit at that point and gone and gone and got a job, you know, opted for security, but you still kept grinding. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Glad Welcome. you didn't stop. Success 100% guaranteed. 
is if you do not quit. That's oh right. man, love it, love it. That's the name of my I book. I say it because I know it. <laughs> I've lived it. You live it. You live it, and you live in it. Because right now, if you quit, mm -hmm. you're still not successful because you have so many things that you still have yet to accomplish, and that God wants you to go. bring to Too fruition. All right, y'all, we have a side conversation. So back to traditional publishing, right? <laughs> Um, you know, and here's the thing, not knocking traditional publishing, but if you're not a celebrity or if you're not rich, it's going to be very, very hard to get a traditional publisher to come and pick you up. And here are some of the reasons why you may not want to go with a traditional publisher is because you have less creative freedom. Nine times out of 10, they're going to tell you what you need to put in your book, what needs to come out of your book. Uh, you won't be able to reap all of the financial rewards because you're going to have to pay the publisher, the marketing department, the copywriting department, all these other people are going to have their hands in the pot. And so you're going to have less money to draw from. And again, less mm -hmm. chance of you getting published because it's very hard to get a traditional publisher to publish your book. However, if you can do it, go forward. But thank, right. thank God for technology because with technology, um, the average person can now become um, a published author and still become an Amazon best-selling author. So That's our right. second right. one is self-publishing. All right, so this is the one that me and Sue did. We both did this. Uh, it's self-publishing. Um, you're responsible for if you want to get your books printed, shipping, customer service, processing complaints. Virtually, right, so you're the the <laughs> you and your business is everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, returns, marketing, everything. But you're gonna get uh, the profit. You know, mainly you're gonna get the 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 gist of the profit after um, you you know take out for you know book design and those type of things and um but that's this and this one is virtually you know this i liked it because it wasn't it wasn't i didn't have to deal with anything i did have to do everything myself meaning get the book cover made get the you know editing and those, those type of things but if you do those things you don't have to come up with twenty five thousand. and plus you can do a little at a time you can get your art you know your um cover done you can get your editing done you can go get what you know and sue says she edited her own book so it, you know it, it can, you can do that too i just had somebody that and actually if, if somebody on the call uh, needs an editor this this person i actually met them on facebook and um they did a very good job with my book so but the point is um for me self-publishing was the way to go i enjoyed it i liked it um i didn't have a problem with it so you can add to Cool, cool. Yeah. Now, here's the thing with self-publishing. We have one more. We have one more uh, publishing strategy to show you. I did this strategy and the next strategy that's coming up. And with the self-publishing, like Terry said, you're responsible for everything. Um, the only thing I was sh shy of is I didn't call myself a publishing company, but really I acted in the sense of a publishing company because um, mm -hmm. I sold the books directly from my personal website. Um, I I found a printing company. I had the the books shipped to me. And um, I sold the books from my website. So in an, if you really, in, in essence, I was truly the publishing company. I just didn't label it as such um, because I was taking care of everything. Like Terry said, some of the downfall is you have to do everything yourself. You have to, you know, unless you hire a team or you outsource it, you've got to do everything yourself, but you retain 100% of the profit. So um, mm -hmm. I still do a little bit of this. I don't do much of this now. I really direct people to, boom, this, which is the on-demand publisher. Now, this for me proved to be easier. And this is how I initially started out. See, this is still self-publishing, but it's through demand publishing, meaning that mm -hmm. you can use third-party persons like Amazon, Kindle, Fast Pencil, CreateSpace, uh, Barnes & Noble. There's a bunch of, if you Google a bunch of self-publishers for on-demand, you're gonna find a whole list of people that you can publish your book through. And this is how I initially started. I actually started with Fast Pencil. And the reason why I wanted them was because they would allow me to publish to their platform, create a website for me, and allow people to come to their website. And people could purchase the printed book or the ebook, and they would ship it out. They would collect the money and they would yeah. ship it out. So it was like I just did the work, listed it on their website, and they. I, let me say this. I published else. the work, listed it on their website, uh -huh. and they did everything else. Now, here's the thing. The uh -huh. down, one of the downfalls about that is that you don't get paid instantly because most places they pay you out once every three months, okay? 
Mm-hmm. You're lucky if you find a place that'll pay you once every month, but most places are once every three months. Um, and another downfall is they're only going to give you the uh, fast pencil. I did my research. Fast pencil at the time was the highest paid one. They were paying between 80 to 85 percent. So if your book was ten dollars, um, you would make between eight dollars and eight dollars and fifty cent off that book. OK, there are a lot wow. of. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are a lot of. I, on demand. I haven't I haven't dealt with them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I teach in my um, Become an Author training course is to use Fast Pencil. And the reason why I was teaching that is because they pay the most um, on returns. Most places are only going to give you anywhere between 30 to 70 percent. But Fast Pencil will give you between 80 to 85 percent. They also give you the option to if you wanted to buy their package, I think it's like three hundred dollars where they will actually help you publish to Amazon and Kindle and Barnes and Noble. However, I teach people that you can do it yourself if you had a little time and it's free because Terry, Uh as you know, you and I have books on Amazon as well. It's free to upload to Amazon. That's right. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You know, and it's it's no, and, 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 but another thing about Amazon, which I think I told Sue about this just recently is that you can even become an affiliate of your own book on Amazon. So virtually you're going to get say 70%. But like say you get seventy percent of the book from just sell from them because that's your book. Then you also like put you can put it on your website and and like if somebody purchases the link from your affiliate link, you're gonna make some money off of that. So it kind of gives you a little bit more, not much, but gives you a little bit more money if you do it that way. Absolutely. So here's the difference. I think the big difference between um, self-publishing is again you're responsible for everything. You have to list everything on your website. You're shipping, you're printing, you're processing complaints, you're doing the emails, you're doing the marketing and blah, 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 blah. With the on-demand self-publishing, you're listing it on someone else's website. So you don't need a personal website. Now you're still going to do some marketing because you're going to drive people to that mm-hmm. website, but they help you with marketing as well. Because if your book is selling pretty well, you know, a lot of times some of them will say, Hey, check out, um, the bestseller or um, the most popular. So they help you out by listing you at the top. And it's less work, less headaches. All you gotta do is write your book, upload it, and you're done. And here is the thing uh, with Fast Pencil, whom I went through, um, I think it cost me 20 bucks uh, to get all of this done. It was my time and 20 bucks. And I was a published author. And now I get to travel across the world and speak and get paid (laughs) and sell books. Yes, yes, so worth it. (laughs) <laughs> so worth it, man. So worth it. So, um, but I'll be honest with you. Once you get your book self-published to a demand publisher, like create space, Amazon or whatever, then you can take that link and put it on your own private, um, website like Terry and I have done. We'll, we'll say, Hey, if you want to get our book, um, you know, we'll link you to our website where you can go and get that. Um, prime example, and Terry, I think you have yours on your website, right? Yeah, I look on the click store. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can go to mine, but go ahead. You can go to yours. So if you go to successwithsuham.com and you click here, it's redirecting you back to my on-demand publisher, which is Fast Pencil. So mm-hmm. it's like you get to uh, order the eBooks or you get to order the hardcover. It's your choice. And I'm sure let's check out Terry's. Oh, Terry's a button. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you go to Terry's. Oh, click at the store. Hold on a second. Here. Okay. So I'm looking for store. Oh, there we go. So we go to store on Terry's website. Boom. From Fab to Fierce, and I'm sure it's going to yeah, take us to Amazon, like right? So if we click here. Oh, I don't know. The pin button was there, too. <laughs> the well, it's, it. on, it's on my computer, so it's, it'll allow me to pin oh, anything. Oh, yeah, okay. Downloaded. I got you. I got yeah. you. So okay. there's Terry's book on Amazon. So uh, on $4.99 on Amazon. So Terry's got hers simply by going to her store and clicking, and there you can get her book. Um, if you do the same thing on my website, it'll take you to Fast Pencil. But also, if you go to Amazon and just type Sue Ham, my book will appear as well so um and that's another thing guys you want your book in multiple places if you can um all over the internet so that it can be found because when you upload it to these on-demand places they're not going to charge you to upload it so why not upload your book in multiple places so that people can find Uh it and buy it i mean put it on amazon put it on fast pencil put it on kindle put it on create space you know Uh, put it as many places as you can if it's free (laughs) 
That's so, right. That's right. Okay, so we are into our next slide. You're an author, right? You you did all that. You're an author. So what's next? What do you do next, Terry? You got to market. <laughs> Definitely can't have a book and it's just sitting there and and nobody knows about it. I mean, you got to get the, the word out to the world that the book is there. And um, I guess we can go further and say, how can you do that? One of the things that you could do is write value blogs and articles. Um, that's a great way to market. I'm huge into blogging. I, I'm, I do it every day, just about. And a lot of times you can just kind of get the word out to which about your book about adding the value, what it's about, or what is it for, or what, what about, how is it going to help somebody um, via your book or your whatever your book is about. And Sue. And Terry's being a little bit modest. She's a master blogger, guys. So. Um... <laughs> She, she she laughs when I say that. She's a master blogger. I'm looking for her tools here. Um, if you guys are interested in blog, look at this. See, top earning blogs. Um, let's see here. Uh, release your purpose. Uh, t tools I use made me number one on Google. You know, um, she's got a bunch of stuff on blogging and whatnot. She's actually got a blogging course, and I'm looking for it, Terry. Where can they find that? Is that in the store? I don't know if Terry's listening, but Terry's got a blogging. Teach you how to get number one on Google. <laughs> yeah, where's your blogging course, Terry? How will they be able to find that on your page? It's actually not on that link. It's not on there. I'll send it to you though, so you can. Okay. I'll send you the link, but go ahead. You can just go ahead. Okay, guys. So if you're interested in blogging, just go to successwithterry.com and click on the contact us. And um, you guys will be able to get that course from her. Yes, I just wanted there to you go. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. But I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the stuff that Terry's into. And like, as she's discussing, what you got to do as an author, you got to market and advertise, write blogs. And if you need help with blogging, Terry is your girl. Now, I love to do online videos, okay? If you go to my website, you're able to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll find that I have a plethora of videos and so does Terry. So... You want to do videos to talk about your book. You want to do videos to, t maybe you want mm -hmm. to take a chapter out of your book and discuss it on videos. Okay. Um, you, especially if it's a self-help book, you can take chapters and discuss some of the tips that you're covering in your books. Or you can even do videos to go over your story and tell people how you came out of the valley and is sitting on the mountaintop to inspire Come others on, to do the same. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. So you definitely want to create videos. Uh -huh. And when you're creating those videos, what you want to do is spark the interest of people and tell them, hey, you can read more about this or learn how to come up out of the Valley experience by purchasing my book. Don't quit, follow your dreams. So, um, or from fab to fierce, you know, whatever it may be. You can launch your own radio show. I know you're probably thinking, I don't, I can't get on FM radio Dow or AM radio Dow. No, I'm speaking internet radio. Launch your own radio. Yeah, show. yeah. yeah. Launch your own radio show where you can actually talk about the products that you have to the listeners that you have, offer value, and um, occasionally read stuff from your book that's going to spark the interest of people. Terry, I know you've done seminars, cause, so tell us how a seminar, conducting a seminar, can actually help you to sell your book. But you can always have backroom sales when you do your seminars. You can, I've done a vision board party tour and went all over the world just virtually helping people live their dreams to have vision boards. But of course, while I'm up there, I, while I'm at the event, I just have my books on the on a, on a vendor table and have somebody sell them, go around the room. I mean, right there, you're going to have your audience. You want to definitely have a way to connect with people after the seminar. You know, I always tell people, don't wait for somebody to call you as a speaker. You give you have your own stuff. I mean, let me tell you something. When I started doing my own seminars, that's deep right there. Say that again. Don't wait. <laughs> what was it? Uh, don't, don't wait for somebody to call. You have your own stuff. That's yeah. it. I, I don't I don't believe in waiting for somebody to call Terry for a speaking engagement. Terry can have her own event, just like we're having our own mastermind. I'm going to be speaking. <laughs> I don't have to wait for somebody to call me. You have your own event. I mean, if, let me tell you this. I started doing having my own business off of Facebook or off of Instagram off it wasn't Instagram it wasn't out then but off of Facebook off of Twitter I met most of the people that came to my vision board party tour off of Facebook 
off of video, be, uh, YouTube. These people will come to you. If that's, if that's what you have to start with, then do it. You know, you do what you have to do. But you can get you can get your audience just from doing those videos, doing those radio shows, and they will come out to your event once they get to know you. Absolutely, so. and they are going to get to know you by doing the radio shows, doing the videos, doing the blogs, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> and being and being consistent. I'm going to have a video that comes out tomorrow about the tips of uh, why, of blogging and what the reasons are. So stay tuned on my Facebook page for that and uh, for my series on blogging and what the benefits and what you're going to get from that. But the, the, I'm a sneak peek is being consistent, consistently putting out your content and not just one form of content like, you know, we're saying blogs, but there's blogs, there's radio shows, there's seminars, there's webinars. you got all kinds of stuff that you can put out so that people can connect and relate to you and with you. Yeah, there's podcasts, there are teleconference calls that you can do, whether you do them daily or you can do them weekly, whether you do a podcast daily or do it weekly, but consistently feeding Google um, and YouTube and Facebook information is what's going to help you gain your audience. Um, case and example, I just opened up a coaching session, a group coaching session uh, for 10 people on yesterday, and um, we've had uh, four people sign up. I don't know any of the four people. Matter of fact, one person is from California. One person is from Canada. Two people are from Florida. Now, why do you think that is? It's as a result of what we have just said, because we have been marketing ourselves and consistently uh -huh. adding value to the marketplace via YouTube, via blogs, via videos, via radio shows, conducting seminars, being speakers, all everything being done over the Internet, because these four people who have enrolled into the group coaching, they've never seen me in person. They've never come to a seminar, but they've heard uh -huh. me on the Internet. They've read about me That's on the right. Internet. So guys, you have to consistently feed Google and social media, feed it. <laughs> it's hungry. It needs you feed it. <laughs> and yeah. And the more stuff you, the more content you put out, the more your name is going to be all over Google. I mean, I put out a podcast every single day, five days a week, right there is five pieces of content. Well, me and Sue, hey, Sue decided to step it up and we put out, 10 other pieces of content on top of the five we already put out this week. So this week we will both have put out 15 pieces of content. So do you, can you imagine what that's going to do now, especially if we could do that on a, for a month, 15 oh, yeah. pieces of content for a month, boom, <laughs> explosion oh, yeah. all over the place. And we're talking 15 a day, not for the whole month, 15 a day. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boom. <laughs> That's crazy. Every time you Google something, you're going to find us. But matter of fact, I just want to say this and I'll go on to the next, um, to the next topic. Um, I spoke to a buddy of mine, um, last week and I hadn't spoken to him in about two years and he called and left a message on my business phone and he said, uh, give me a call. So I called him and he's like, man, you all over the place. I said, what are you talking about? Man, you all over the internet. I said, what are you talking about? Man, I'm up on the internet Googling stuff and you come up. I said, well, did you Google my name specifically? No, I ain't Google your name. I Google some other keywords, some other topic and you popped up. And so I went to your website and that's how I got your number. Oh, and I just laughed because one, I hadn't spoken to him in two years. Two, it took him searching for a topic other than myself, my name, and I came up and he found me. So I was like, yes, it's working. So guys, it works, but it only works if you work it, you got to put it out there. And then, um, just to show you how, how powerful the internet is again, Terry and I spoke to someone from the Bahamas on last week who we interviewed uh -huh. for our business explosion mastermind. She wants to be a part of it. And we asked her how she found us. She just found us from the internet, found one of our webinars, watched it, liked it, and wants to be a part of it. So that's what happens guys. When you put content out there, people will come to it. They'll find it. They'll get to know you and really when they can hear your voice and see your face, they're really going to form a connection. Really. Exactly. Well. Yeah. Yep. 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 So you also want to become so. a speaker and set up book signings. And, and I know we didn't have this slide on here, but I just want to say, Terry, if we could each just give about two benefits of writing a book. Um, one benefit guys of writing a book is you get to share your story. 
and you get to help other people. Another benefit is it opens up the door for you to become a speaker and get paid to, uh -huh. to, to travel all across the world. And, you know, for I've known speakers, I've done research on them where they've gotten paid a thousand dollars for 60 minutes up towards almost $500,000 for a four hour engagement. So that's just to exactly. put, that's just to give you a range of what you can earn from speaking about tips that are in your book uh -huh. or speaking about tips about your expertise. So Terry, what, what, are, what are two other reasons you can come up with off the top of your head for writing a book? That well, I'm going to agree you? with that one as well, because uh, in 2015, I will become an international speaker, which I'm getting paid to come to the event in the Dominican Republic. Not only am I getting paid to come there, I'm getting an airline ticket as well as a junior suite um, at the resort that we're staying at, all because I am an author and slash speaker. And so virtually... The, the benefit of giving getting the book out is becoming an expert in your niche or an expert into your message or whatever whatever that message is. It doesn't have to. It could be motivational. It could be inspirational. It could be empowerment. It could be uh, teaching people how to cook. It could be teaching people how to sew. I don't know what your 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 thing is, but it it shows that oh she knows what she is talking about or he knows what he's talking about and so uh so i i would say it would set you up to being an expert that's one mm. and um mm. which is which which is in turn going to help you become more wanted so not only are you going to become an expert, you're going to become more wanted because once they see that you're an expert or you're somebody that knows what you're talking about, oh, let me call XYZ or let me call this person because they're going to see you. It's like they, if you're going to be, let's say, the brand. So like, like Starbucks is the brand. You will be the brand. I believe I'm the brand of entrepreneurs. People know that I'm the one that helps. Uh, our entrepreneurs, our startup businesses. I, that's me because they see me out there on my show, on my call, putting out my p courses, helping businesses to grow. So eventually, guess what? When when somebody says, "Oh, I, we need somebody that help that helps uh, startup businesses to grow," guess who they're going to think of first? Because of my book, because of my niche, because of who I am and who my brand says I am. All right. So really quick, those are four great benefits to writing your book. One is you get your message out. Number two is um, you get to become a speaker. Number three is you get to travel the world. Number four, you begin to become a credible expert. Uh, that is awesome. And those are just four quick reasons. We could list probably a hundred, but those are just four. Uh -huh. And it's like, once you write your book, you open up the door to make money in so many different other ways. Um, because you can, can become a consultant teaching other people how to write their books. You could actually, uh, become an online course creator or a digital course creator, creating products for people to learn about the tips that you talk about in your book. You could um, launch your own radio show, get paid promotion advertisement companies to advertise with you. Like Terry said, you can conduct your own seminar, charge people to come in and hear you speak or to tell them what it is they need to hear. So, and then you can also make money by selling your books and the list just goes on and on and on and on and oh. on. So now and you know on. the reason why you need to write a book. <laughs> You can get a T-shirt line because of it. You can do, I mean, it, I can start of all kind of things that you can do to extend past the book or past your brand. Because actually, once you write that book, you can become the brand. Yeah. And not, not only can you, I just saw one of my coaching students, she just wrote a book. And not only did she write a book, she has a mug out, she has a shirt out, she has a website. I mean, she's like killed it when it comes to that entire brand and, and making that brand work. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's, it's such a great thing is, uh, is a, hey, get your books out guys, get your story needs to be heard and you need to make some extra money. All right, guys. So we have gone on to tell you what it's going to take. What we want to do now is we want to tell you about our business explosion mastermind, where we are going to work with people to help them write their books, right? Terry market their books. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm help you uh, be able to conduct your seminars, uh, launch your radio shows, become a speaker and set up book signings. Actually, here's what you will learn. Some of the stuff that you will learn if you decide to be a part of our business explosion mastermind, we're going to teach you how to become number one best-selling authors, how to create your own products, membership sites. And we, our last webinar, we talked about our membership sites where we're making residual income, um, how to get on radio and TV, speaking engagements, and just so much more. And we're going to do it in an intimate setting 
in Miramar Beach, Florida, in a mansion with our own private chef. With private access to what? The beach. <laughs> I love it. The beach. <laughs> with our own private access. And you know what? We just found out tonight that um we're gonna have a Zumba instructor Zumba. there. So Zumba. we're gonna <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be working it out. And then we're gonna be doing vision boards. Uh we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna get out in the town too and sightsee and all that. And we're gonna learn, we're gonna lead this mastermind with products. We're gonna lead this mastermind accomplishing goals. You're gonna be able to sit down with Terry Clay and myself and um we're going to map out what it's going to take for you to be successful. And we're going to do the things uh, to help you to be successful. And uh, you get to have access to us 24 seven for the entire five days that you are at the retreat with us. Um, Miramar beach, Florida. I do have the video. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. As you guys can see, if you look to the right of my screen, I have been making videos like crazy. Like Terry said, we've been pumping out so many videos. So I was looking for the video. <laughs> oh, you gotta find <laughs> you can't find the video that you that you're looking for. <laughs> oh Lord. We challenged ourselves. Oh, you know what? Oh. Let me see. I was thinking of this on that piece. We we challenged ourselves to do a, a bunch of um to do a bunch of videos and um it's been working out pretty good. Um, you know, like she said, we're putting out that content and whatnot. So let's see if I can find it real quick. By the way, guys, I'll call attention. This is my YouTube channel. Uh, you click, guys... Just punch in businessexplosion.net okay. and the video is there. Okay. I was going to go there, but I didn't want to pull up our website yet. We're still working on our website, guys, but this is what it looks like so far. Um, for any of you that want to fill out an application, uh, it should be live tomorrow. But um, this is what the business exposure. Yeah, so don't punch it in yet because we gotta yeah. put the put the uh, email. Yeah, if you're but watching it has this, a video on there. Yeah, if you're watching this and it is um October 9th, then go ahead and put in your email. It's good. <laughs> but as of today, <laughs> October seventh, we still have a couple things we need to do. But we're gonna watch the video, of some of the experiences Terry and I have had at Masterminds, um, and we just want to give you a taste of what you're going to learn at our mastermind. Just a second. Thank you.
<laughs> we always yeah. give a loud yell. That's how I see that. We always, it's like, we had some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, we've had some great times. Let's see. Let me go back to my PowerPoint really quick. I think we're pretty much at the end of it. Um, for those of you who may be interested, I think in, you're supposed to talk about the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in a second. But for those of you that are interested in attending the webinar, guys, this is what your investment would be for five days $997. That's it. And you get to learn all of this great stuff here plus so much more zumba instructor vision parties mindset training access to terry and sue 24 7 private chef um the list just goes on and on and on and on and we are going to extend that offer to you for five days for 9.97 um if you want the seven days 15.97 and we're allowing 30 percent deposits payment plans allowed so if you're interested we're going to ask you for right now to head over to Terry's website, meet Terry in Florida, success with Terry.com, meet Terry in Florida, and you will be able to click that picture. That's right. Can Thank you, Terry. I always forget that. If you go to Terry's website, let's go to your homepage. If you go to her website and just simply click the picture here at the top. Thank you for always reminding me, but pretty soon the website will be active business explosion.net, but you can go here and learn more about the, uh, mastermind retreat as well as see some of the things that terry and i have accomplished uh we've been on tv check out some of our interviews those are our books um pictures of the house you can apply now continue to go down and see some of the testimonials um that we've gotten from people that we've worked with and um go from there if you got any questions like i said just fill out the application what will happen is terry and i will get on the phone with you we'll talk to you and see if you are a perfect fit uh for our mastermind and right now we have like four people and we're only accepting 10 10 people so, so the how and we're and counting <laughs> the house is filling up <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I am looking yeah, we for just my... signed up a Zumba instructor today. I was like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> excited, excited. But also, guys, we want to extend a, um, an awesome opportunity to you as well. Um, it's our Business Explosion Secret Mastermind Group. And Terry, you can tell them a little bit about that. And what the what the bit if you if you would just watch me and Sue on on Facebook, we always we we kind of got like a. a I guess a tag system going on. If she posts something, I'll talk on it. If if she po if I I post something, she'll talk on I, she'll talk on mine, and we tag each other and everything. And what we do this for is to open up our our each other's audience to each other because you just don't never know who's on her page that wants to meet me or you know or vice versa. But we tag team each other, and what we decided to do for well, really it's only nine people now is that we decided to open the door up for other people, up to 10 people, and we would do the same for you all. Virtually, you've got a book to sell. You could put it on our page, on her page, and uh, or if you got, you know, anything that, that you have to, ex to that you want to expose to a bigger audience, we are going to let you into our secret uh, mastermind group. Now, the thing about it is if you... We're only offering this opportunity to one person per whatever your business you're in. So if you're in Mary Kay, only one Mary Kay person. If you're in uh, MLM, you know, wake up now, you're the only one person. So only one person per, and that would be fair because we wouldn't want 10 uh, Mary Kay people because then you would get all flooded. You want, we want you to shine. So for, Thirty dollars, and I think it's so you're gonna have to explain it because I'm not looking at it, so you can just read it. Okay, guys. So for thirty dollars, what happens is um, you get a guest blog spot on Terry's blog. Terry has a blog, and I have a blog on my website. And you have the ability to advertise with us on a weekly basis on our um, Facebook pages. Now, here's the thing: we're not gonna allow you to flood our timelines, posting like ten times a day. There are rules to this thing. So, uh, but we will allow you to post like one, uh, maybe like three to four times a week. And like Terry said, it's giving you exposure to our audience, um, by allowing you to tag your stuff on our page. Cause if you look at our pages, we don't allow people to put anything on our page. We have to approve it. So that's what the $30 rank will do. And it's every six months. There's no, there's no contract. So you can cancel at any time. If you decide you don't want to, 
be a part of this after six months and just cancel. Don't, e don't even pay the renewal fee. But you will get a blog done by Terry and myself. We get a lot of views on our blogs. Our blogs are also put on the Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all over the internet, which means even more exposure for you. And you get to tag us. Now, what the level that I highly suggest is package number two, which is the powerhouse business explosion package, uh, which is 99 bucks. All right. Now it includes everything in package one, which is getting a guest blog post on my blog, as well as Terry's blog and the ability to tag your advertisement on our page on a weekly basis. But we're also going to do video testimonials for you. Terry will do a testimonial. I will do a testimonial. And if you have a physical product, if you send it to us, we'll put that in the um, video stating that this is a great product. We are not going to accept any and everybody okay because we are very particular about what we uh promote because we have a reputation to withhold all right right um, <laughs> Thirdly, you will also, uh, you can, you can have a guest appearance on our podcast and they're very popular. We get a bunch of views to our podcast. You will also get your banner placed on Terry's, uh, website, a banner like that. As you can see the banners here displayed and those banners I think are on all the pages. So there you go. So it's like you're prominently displayed, um, on the pages. Terry's got more banners. Let's see. And as you go down and scroll the page, more banners and more banners. And so you'd have a banner placed on Terry's website as well as a banner placed on my website. And um, this will be for six months, a $99 deal to get all of this promotion. And here's the thing, guys, what you have to understand is this is mega promotion with package number two, mm -hmm. um, because you're talking about you're going to be on two blogs. You're going to be on two podcasts. If you look over here to your left, actually, if you look over here to your right, where it says sharing, <laughs> that means that you're going to be on Facebook, Twitter, Google plus, uh, whatever that little buddy is Pinterest. Reddit. Okay. <laughs> Pinterest, <laughs> LinkedIn, emails, all of that stumbled upon uh my space just depending on where we share it and we normally share to all these places because we want to be all over the place and then with the podcast That's we're right. talking about youtube and spreaker so you're getting massive exposure to our audience and to potentially new people who can find you by uh locking arms with us and becoming a part of the business explosion viral community and it exists to help each other grow to help each other gain exposure so um, Another thing is our blog, when we do a blog, they are positioned, we, we go for them to get on the first page of Google. So it's not like, you know, and, and we can't promise you you're going to be on the first page of Google because we don't always, every time. But let me just tell you something, we hit it a lot. And so the, the key would be to really work to get that blog post. Uh, put on the first page of Google. So virtually, once you really are on the first page of Google, you're really being positioned to be found right then. So if nothing else, that one thing alone <laughs> is going to, because virtually, just say you're on the first page of Google, it doesn't stop. Say you stay, you stay in the program for six months and that's it and you don't get back on. You're still going to be on the first page of Google whether you're in the program anymore or not. So, you Ooh, know, that's point. one thing to think about. Good point. Hadn't even thought of that. And remember, I told you my friend found me from Googling something else. It wasn't about me. Just wanted to bring you guys over to my website, um, showing you where you would be prominently displayed. We'd have you here um, as banners. We'd also have you on our blog post here. And it's a blog post we just did. Um, 20 things to become a millionaire. You guys go check that out because I know y'all want to be millionaires. But um, so we would do a blog and, and you know, put you on there and um exactly share you to facebook tweet you out g1 you do the pinterest and all of that great stuff and another thing i want to draw you guys attention to is every week terry and i we do these free trainings every tuesday so you can just head over to suham.com i think terry's going to be getting it on her website pretty soon but you can head over to suham.com to sign up for the weekly training we have to update it for next week the 14th but this is where you'll be able to sign up for your free training so um Terry, you had anything else or I guess we maybe need to see? No, I think that was it. I think we covered all the bases. Just make sure you can hit us up on Facebook. Hit me up on successwithterry at gmail.com. Um, if you, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, you can hit us up in our inboxes. And I'm Terry L. Clay on Facebook and Sue will give you her information. 
I am um, suham.com, S-U-E-H-A-M.com, as you can see on the screen here. I think you can see it. Uh, <laughs> that's who I am. And you can find out more about me. Check out the About page um, and the different things that we have going. We we'll encourage you guys to sign up for the uh, social media book that we have coming out here in a couple of days, how to grow any business with social media. Check that out. Sign up, get on the emailing list for it. It's only going for $2.99 mm -hmm. right now. Um, make sure in a couple of days, you guys come back to business explosion.net. Um, and you'll be able to put in your email. If you need more information on the mastermind, if you need more information before then just head over to success with Terry.com and just click on the banner here and you will be able to fill out your application and we will get back in contact with you. I, uh, I guess that's yes, it. We, Tara. And we both, and we call you personally. We both call at the same time, personally call every last applicant. We've done that so far. We got one more applicant to call now, but we may have more after this call. We'll see. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And, and guys, again, the benefit of, um, joining our viral community, the business explosion secret mastermind is because again, we interviewed an applicant from the Bahamas and how she found us was via the internet. She watched our webinar and then she filled out our application and then we contacted her. So that's what we mean by locking arms with us and getting more exposure. So with that being the case, um, I guess we're going to end this webinar in parting. I always like to say, remember to live, love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. And Terry L. Clay, and this has been a word from Terry Clay. And we are changing lives with positive words. And we are out. Peace. See you guys next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next Business Explosion <laughs> Mastermind Training with Terry L. Clay and Sue Hemp, baby. See ya. Peace. <laughs>